men that they may go into the gates of the nobles. So the Lord is telling us to go out and lift our voice and shake our hands. That's what we're doing here. Huh? I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. So these kingdoms of nations are gathering together now. Iran, China, Russia, you hearing about it, you got the news. Guess who they are against? Read. The Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle. So the Lord is doing this battle. Read. They come from a far country from the end of heaven. They go, they coming from where? From the end of heaven. Thank you, brother. Bless you, brother. Bless you, brother. They're coming from the ends of heaven. They come in here, brother. Isaiah 13 and 2. Read. Even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. To what? To destroy the whole land. To what? To destroy the whole land. To destroy the whole land. This place has been built on evil, man. It's coming. The God of Israel is going to judge this place. Hunt the nations through battle and war. Read. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. Is that what? It, it's at hand. Go ahead. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Every heart shall melt. Read. And they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travelleth. They're going to be in pain here, man. Pain is coming here. Read. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. To lay it what? To lay the land desolate. Nothing left, right? And he shall destroy the sinners that are out of it. And the people that have been wicked here are going to die with this country. Right? For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. So you're going to be looking to the stars and trying to figure out what's going on? They're not going to give no understanding to you. All you witches and warlocks that are trusted in astrology. Right? The sun shall be darkened and is going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil. He shall punish the world for their evil. The Catholic Church is evil. The religion is evil. Every place the Catholic Church went, they killed people. They put smallpox in the Indians' garments, man, and the Indians are sheep during the winter. They killed with the Jesuits, man. And how can we follow a religion that we know enslaved our people? Read on. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Who's more arrogant than this country? We're arrogant, man. We'll go to war on some straight lies and don't care who knows. Arrogant. But guess what? God knows. You cannot keep doing evil and think it's not coming back on you, man. But this country don't serve God. Your pope don't serve God. Your pope is an antichrist. The Bible says, call no man God upon earth or father upon earth. It's wicked. Who do you think, a hey, brother, who do you think sat with the pope and says when he looked into the pope's eyes, he seen the face of God? That's, that's what Bush said when he seen the pope. The pope is a demon. He's a demon, brother. The same spirit goes from one pope to the next. It's an eight-day ritual. It's demonic channeling and possession. So ever since Constantine, the spirit been leaving from one pope to the next. It's the spirit of Antichrist in that man. He's the false prophet that the Bible speaks of. The Lord says, call no man father upon earth. So how can you kiss a man's ring and call him father? That's against Christ. He's no father, he's the devil. Let's finish reading. No, no, let me show you. Read. And I will lay the haughtiness of the terrible, and I will make a man more precious than fine gold. You're going to make a man more precious than fine gold. Right now, a man is not being respected in this country. Now, so many people are going to be dying, your sister's going to wish you had a good man. A man's going to be like pure gold because so many men are going to be dying here, man. Read. Even a man that, even even a man that the golden wedge of Ophir. Go Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. Shall remove out of her place. What can make the heavens and earth move out of their place? 
a nuclear bomb. We're going to show you. Read. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger, and it shall be as the chaff's row, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall even, then shall every man turn to his own people. And when that happened, everyone is going to start going to their own people. It's happening now. You notice the Chinese people are selling their stores and going back to Asia? They're getting their little, they're getting out of the neighborhoods now? Everybody's starting to turn in their money and going back to their own people. But where are we going to go? Read. And every man should return to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. And people are going to start fleeing into their own country. The majority of this country is, made, as a matter of fact, this country is made out, made up of all people. A lot of people are here on visas. They're going to start going back home. Then what? Everyone that is found should be thrust through. And if you're found here, you're going to die, according to the Bible. Because plagues are coming here. Read. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Join unto this country and praying for this country and think this country is going to stand forever, you're going to die with this country. Read. Really? Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. That's what the Bible says. Read. Really? Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Behold, I will.